What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, what is going on? How are you doing? If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, this would be a great time to hit that subscribe button down below before we get into the video. And if you already are, I really appreciate you. It's been a while since I've done some kayak fishing. It is toasty outside. I decided to get some live shrimp and I brought out a popping corn. I'm gonna try my luck here for some redfish. Maybe we can get a redfish and blacken it on the grill or some speckled trout or whatever may bite. This is actually a new to me kayak. So you haven't seen this one before. It's an ocean kayak Trident 13. I I love ocean kayak. I've done a lot of fishing out of ocean kayaks before, but I'm gonna go position up along some of this marsh grass here with my popping cork and some live shrimp and see what we can do. And I'm gonna cast out along this grass here and just let the wind drift me and I'll give this popping cork a couple pops every now and then. There's a crap ton of bait hanging around. But you want your live shrimp to do most of the work. But I'm throwing this on advanced all VR50. Yazuri 20 pound braid and a seven foot medium heavy St. Croix rod. A shrimp just jumped out of the bucket in the water. So there's my sacrifice for the day. So I'm going to throw that shrimp out and just put on another fresh live one. Something pecked the other one off. See if we can get a good fish here. Oh, got one. <laughs> got, got got one <laughs> so that didn't take long did it ah, dang good fish good fish Let's see what you are here going oh man yo i was about to move and reposition again it looks like i got a nice redfish on swimming the boat swimming towards the boat ah, oh yeah beautiful red it's going under the boat come on come on Beautiful redfish on. Let's see if I can get them in the net here. Ah. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. That's awesome. All right, he just got a beautiful red. Check that out. He's a slot red. They do have to be 16 to 26 inches in the state of Alabama, and he came out to 18 inches, which is a perfect size in my opinion. And look where that hook is, right there in the corner of the mouth, perfect. I was gonna set my rod in the rod holder and get repositioned with the paddle, and uh, bobber went straight down. So live shrimp did the trick. It's about 100 degree heat index and catching beautiful redfish. That is gonna go great on the grill. Someone throw him in the cooler. Beautiful red. All right. Time to get repositioned here. The wind did pick up a little bit. That's the only thing keeping me out here is the wind. And uh, that's awesome. That didn't take long at all. So what a, what a cool fish. I'm gonna grab another shrimp. And hook it just like I always do. And let's make another cast. And I'm up wind slash up current. And I'm just drifting down. I'm using the wind to my advantage since I'm not in a pedal drive. I'm just drifting along this bank parallel to it and let's find another fish. Let's see if we can get another one. You're allowed three redfish in the state of Alabama. See that wake right there? Those are all mullet. Oh, bobber's down. Mm, got it. <laughs> got him. <laughs> what are you? Uh, feels kind of small, but no, uh, maybe not. It's a nice little red. Nice little redfish here. He might be a keeper. Oh, he's going under the boat. Come on. <laughs> Got him. He's not going to be a keeper at all. He's a little small. <laughs> what a beautiful redfish. He's a little small, so I'm going to toss him back. They have to be 16 inches, like I said. There he goes. We're going to paddle back over and get repositioned next to the grass here. You know you have a lot of fisher people in your family when you have to mark your bait bucket with your name. <laughs> All right, hook on a shrimp. Cast it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That didn't take long. It doesn't feel like a keeper, but it's a beautiful redfish. Yeah. I was about to say croaker because how light it was, but yeah, that's just a pretty little red. Check out the spots. One, two, three, and then we got another three here. Get out that hook. Let's go back. Here you go, bud. This is just a DOA Cal 3 inch paddle with the DOA 1 8 ounce jig head. And I got it rigged up. I'm going to add some Pro Cure to it, which is just some of this artificial, stinky stuff here. It's a gel that really attracts these fish. I got a needle attachment for it. I'm going to inject some into the bait here. But look at all this bait. 
Should be some trout hanging out. Oh, oh got, got something. Uh, got something. I think it's a speckled trout here. On the DOA. On the DOA. Is it a little trout? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Oh, and he came off. I'm going to throw a shrimp on the popping cork again and see if one will eat it. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, dang it. It came off again. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Look at it. Freaking jumping like crazy. <laughs> oh, no, it's a ladyfish. <laughs> These things are funny. <laughs> there we go. Ladyfish. Oh, <laughs> it almost jumps in the boat, you dummy. <laughs> Not really target species, but fun to catch. And he took my hook, see? 15 pound flora is perfect for a bunch of fish, including those, but after a while they'll they'll fray down the end. So I'm gonna tie on another hook and maybe go back to the bank and try my luck again. But that was just a ladyfish. So I'm gonna grab another shrimp. Bunch of bait in front of me. There's a fish. Ah see what it is doesn't feel that heavy that was a little trout no just a little bitty redfish little little bitty rat red we're gonna let you go there you go buddy Alrighty, it is hot and even the breeze feels like hot air it isn't nothing i'm not already used to but the bite has slowed down a lot so i'm gonna head back in i don't have any more shrimp but i did have a great time maiden voyage in the new kayak here i was able to get a nice slot red i'm gonna go have me some fresh redfish on the half shell for lunch it's never gonna be frozen and i know exactly where it came from i'm gonna paddle back and head home and then we'll clean this fish up and go cook it have to get my workout routine in somehow i have a really bad wrist from an armored hatch falling on it so i try not to overuse that hand but let's head back and go get ready to cook us some lunch Alrighty, I am back home. My AFCO stuff really kept me cool, as cool as you can get in 100 something degree heat index. <laughs> but if you haven't checked these out, like this isn't a paid promotion or anything. I've been wearing AFCO forever. I wear their shorts. So I wear their shirts. They even have really good boxers. You know, if you, if you get wet a lot and you live the water life, you definitely want some performance stuff. And there's a bunch out there and AFCO's always treated me pretty good. So I continue to use their product. But what I'm going to do first before I clean it is get my grill lit. Alright. We got fire. Gonna let those coals burn. And look at that beautiful red. This redfish is going to be incredibly easy to clean. I do have my Dexter fillet knife if you watch my other videos. Right behind their pectoral fin or behind their gill. I'm going to do an angle slice here. Real easy. I'm going to go up with my knife. I'm going to slice up to my cut. Helps to have a sharp knife. And then I'm just going to go along this bone here and fillet this meat right off this redfish. All the way down to the tail. And what I like to do is take my knife, just fillet it right off the bone just like that. And get up here and then you have a beautiful piece of redfish and we're going to leave the skin on because i'm grilling it on the half shell is what you call it i'm going to do the same thing to the other side here so there's two pieces of fillet and this is going to go in the crab trap now what you want to do with these fillets is you do have a bone from their ribs that go right here so i just go right through the middle i'll cut down then at an angle and you can just run your knife along the back side of those pin bones if you don't want to pull them out and there you have a beautiful redfish fillet with no bones in it so no pin bones and no rib bones and do the same thing to this one you want to just get up underneath it and cut that out Alrighty, now we have two beautiful redfish fillets everybody has their own way of doing it but this is my way everybody's is different but i did leave the skin on you just want to wash it down and get the slime off but i left the skin and the scales on and i'll spray these down throw them on ice until our grill's ready Alrighty, my ingredients list is very easy today. I have, as always, my Chef Paul Prudhomme seafood magic. That is my favorite seasoning. 
have some slices of some regular salted butter, and then I have two lemon slices since I have two fillets. Now you can use whatever type of Cajun seasoning or seasoning you like, but I really love this Chef Paul's Seafood Magic. It's one of my favorite. But I got my coals. They're really hot right now, which is what you want for the redfish on the half shell. I sprayed some nonstick coating on the grill so my fish doesn't stick when I do flip it over to the meat side. But I'm gonna get my redfish out of my cooler here and throw it on the grill. And this redfish has never been inside of a building. It came straight from the water, stayed in the cooler, and over here cleaned and on the grill. And I wanna do the skin side down first. Lay it right across the heat. Take my other one. Lay it right across. You don't care if the skin burns, you just want the meat to be fully cooked. I'm gonna take my seasoning here. Seasoning, I don't wanna over season this redfish here. I'm gonna sprinkle some of my Chef Paul's on. There we go. One butter slice for one side. So each fish should have two slices of butter on there. So hot in here, the butter's already melting, but that's what we want right there. Now I'm gonna save the lemon for when they're almost cooked. I'm gonna close this lid and let them cook for about five minutes and I'll come back and check them. It's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna go check my fish here. All right, it's been five minutes, check on our fish. Oh man, yeah, it's practically almost done. I'm gonna do one flip with it just to char the top. And don't worry about the skin, the skin's gonna be burnt. But we're gonna close that real quick just for one minute. All right, we let that sit for one minute. Take this beautiful red here. Man, transfer it to our plate. Same thing, transfer this redfish to the plate. Now, final step, take your fresh squeeze, fresh cut lemon on here. Got a half of a lemon, do the same, just with this whole lemon right here. You wanna do the lemon while it's still hot here, okay? Now, if that isn't a beautiful plate of food right here, Man, and then with my favorite season, I'm gonna take this food upstairs on the porch and let these fillets cool down because they did just come off the grill and we'll get to eating. All right, it is almost cooled down here a little bit. So I'm gonna take a bite out of the middle. It is very moist. You don't want your fish dried out at all, but it comes right off the skin. And look at that beautiful piece of redfish. I'm gonna take a bite. It's still pretty hot because it just came off the grill, but I'm pretty hungry, so I've been out all day. Mmm. See, that beats any other fish when it comes to like mackerel and all that stuff any day of the week. That is a delicious fish. You cannot beat a nice red fish. Once they get big, because you are allowed oversized ones, their meat gets kind of tough. But this size right here in the slot is a perfect piece. And if you've never grilled red fish with the skin on, you're really missing out. I'm taking some more bites. This is one of those things you think you're only going to eat one piece, but you're going to eat the whole thing because it is delicious. And it comes right off the skin, and all you do is just throw the skin away. Obviously, you don't want to eat scales, but I wouldn't hesitate to serve this to anybody I know because it is so good. Mm. But I appreciate you watching. If you have not tried that with the redfish already, go ahead and get you some live shrimp or go get you some DOAs and go out there and try to get you a redfish. All you need is an Alabama saltwater fishing license and just to know your regulations and your rules. But that was really fun maiden voyage in the new kayak or the new to me kayak. So I did just pick up that ocean kayak. So that's awesome. And cannot ask for a better maiden voyage. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It's that thumbs up below this video. If you wanna know what I use during the video, it's down in the uh, description below. Go ahead and check out my Facebook, Instagram page. It's just Bama Saltwater. And I'm also doing TikTok. It's Bama underscore Saltwater. I'll put it up on the screen and down in the uh, description. Got some really cool stuff on the social media pages and it just allows you to keep up with some cool content and photos. But if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. But I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. But we'll see you on the next video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.